another big story we're following tonight, one that you saw breaking live right here on Fox 5 in our 6 o'clock hour, a Maryland State Highway tow truck stolen. Yeah, this was wild. The suspect leading police on a chase through a number of communities. And take a look at this. It was troubling to watch. Yes, it was. And our Jacqueline Matter live in Silver Spring where the chase ended with new developments. Jacqueline. Well, Kenneth and Sharin, that multi-county chase ending here in Silver Spring, right outside of this gas station here. And if you look over to my left here, this was where the the car came to a halt earlier this evening after that chase. But to give you a sense of where we are here, this gas station right in front of the Burnt Mills Shopping Plaza and across the street is Holy Cross Health, Burnt Mills Park down the road. All of this happening along Columbia Pike in Silver Spring. We talked to state police about about two hours ago when they gave us an update on the, this crash earlier today. They said it was a miracle that no one was severely injured tonight as this suspect took police on a chase across several counties from Montgomery County, uh, from Prince George's County into Montgomery County. All of this unfolding, though, live here on Fox 5 as well. We have Sky Fox video, if we can take that right now. You can see that video showing the driver barreling through cars on busy streets, driving in the opposite direction and across grassy fields and electrical wires. Police told us that just before 5 p.m. tonight, they got a call of a reported hit and run at the 495 Greenbelt Metro. Troopers responded there, and at that time, one of the vehicles involved was a white Ford Ranger pickup, which the driver of that car then took off. A short time later, that white Ford Ranger crashed at the park and ride at 495 and Route 1. That's when State Highway Administration Emergency Patrol sent out a crew to arrive at that crash and try to help. The driver of that emergency vehicle got out to help the suspect that had crashed. That suspect then hopped into the tow truck and took off. The suspect leading police on a chase across several counties, smashing into several cars. But we're told due to GPS capabilities that were inside of the stolen vehicle, that's how police were able to track down where that suspect was going. Police also telling us there were at least five crashes involving a 11 civilian cars, three police cars. They say two officers and one civilian were taken to area hospitals with minor injuries. During the Friday rush hour, a lot of vehicles in the area. And yes, we're very lucky that nobody was seriously injured. First, I see the Fox TV. First, I'm thinking this is a movie or what? After 20 minutes, like 20 minutes, I'm listening to some car accident voice. When I am open the door, the guy is coming from the wrong way. I live um, probably about a half mile away in the neighborhood behind us. We were alarmed because we never see anything like this in this area, which is very unusual. So left the house, ran down here. I just got scared because I didn't know if anyone was hurt. Now, I also want to show you uh, we're here at the scene, and you can see here broken tail lights and headlights. We've got hubcaps, pieces of tire as well. And if you come over here, you can still see the tire tracks and an entire tire that is basically broken in pieces here. You can see this is, again, where that driver came to a crash. All of this was just dragging along the road as he took police on this chase throughout Montgomery County. You heard there from the state police police officer who said it is a miracle that no one was injured again. This was Friday rush hour. We heard from a neighbor who came from about half a mile away, came running because he said there are oftentimes people with strollers coming down this area. He was worried about, you know, the driver coming the opposite direction and potentially running into cars. And he was willing to go run into cars to try to save people in the gas station attendant here. Also telling us one minute he was watching us here on Fox 5, watching this unfold. And then the next minute, the car was right here in front of his gas station. So police also telling us that the suspect is in the hospital now, in custody at the hospital with minor injuries. They didn't tell us exactly what charges he is facing, but they said they will keep us updated. And of course, we'll bring that to you on air and online at fox5dc.com. Back to you.